it is, what's the word? Legacy. Legacy, 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 legacy. legacy. Alright, so today, alright, we had, who we had last week? Alright, Cain last week, alright. And, um, you know, one of the main reasons Cain was successful his freshman year is because he had a quarterback that could do everything. Alright, so my point is, I want y'all to pay attention to this video. Hit that like for me, real quick. Oh, Anthony, that's right. <laughs> Just for our guys, a little history. Patrick Henry was a big dog before Hermitage was. It's a long history of Patrick Henry football. They were the dogs of dogs. That's what you call it. You used to call it toting that table. Look at number two with the ball. Uh, Ah, 
life, man. It's life. So, there's certain reasons, you know, in the, in the concept of the game of football, when you got other guys that can share the load, you got to be unselfish, all right? You got to be unselfish. I, I ain't going to say I didn't understand that. I, I mean, we, we did whatever we had to do in high school. Um, and as I got older, I realized how unselfish we all had to be because we had a whole lot of talent. Kind of like y'all guys did. Anyway, the guy that's coming up, Anthony Dabney, who was my quarterback, I can say a lot. I think he was the only person in our class to get a full scholarship. Um, he went to the University of Richmond, and I ain't gonna say nothing much more than that. I can just say a whole lot about the guy. We go back and just play with the football. The football is something we got a chance to do together on the field. But coming off of my guy, Andy. <laughs>
funny. It's good. He, he had a successful life, you know, doing what he's doing. Right? Kudos to him. But, you know, right now, we, we got to go, man. We got to. What's the light at the end of the tunnel for y'all? Tomorrow? Nah, what's the goal? Somebody said? Stay. Stay, right? Stay. Yeah, right. Y'all got to be focused, man. That's how you win championships. Out there on that field and on that practice. What are you in that school? What is after school on your way down here? I can't be playing. This ain't nothing to play with. This is your life. For me, it was my life. I don't know about y'all, but this, this is my life. My parents didn't have money to send me to school. I used to come to school. People ain't even know this. I don't think my man even know this, but I used to sleep on my uncle's floor because my parents had split. My dad used to go back to the PhD. My mom, she moved out to Chesterfield. I want to go to the toe. You know what I'm saying? I used to sleep on the floor in my uncle's house, eat, you know, whatever they, they could afford to, you know, give me. You know what I'm saying? And I used to walk to school. It's crazy, man, because I'm thinking about it now because I, I, I see some of y'all, man, and I don't know. I'm going to keep fucking with y'all. Y'all didn't impress me out there today. I'm looking at everybody in this room. Y'all didn't impress me today. Even when, when your coach came down here in the locker room, y'all supposed to be getting your jerseys. Some of y'all worried about your phone, bro. Y'all got a playoff game tomorrow. Are you serious? Or are you not serious? But if you're serious, it's going to take effort. Effort to get to that next level. For me, like I said, I was here. I was here every day. He was here every day. He was here every day. Some of y'all not gonna be here. You, you, you worried about your, your little girlfriend? You know what I mean? You might have a little job. You know what I'm saying? It's cool, whatever. But is a hundred and fifty thousand dollar scholarship gonna change your life? Does it change mine? Facts, stipends for a cell phone, stipends for meals, you'll get help. You'll get help, man, but you gotta be able to put yourself in a situation to where somebody even wants you. When the coach come in here and he asks about that practice today, he goes, hey coach, what, you know what I'm saying, what happened to the man over here today? What you gonna tell him? What can he tell him? When he seen it for his own eyes, the child was out there BSing today. The what can he tell? If I was out there, I'd be like, man, I don't know, I, man, you know what? And people don't realize you got, there's a minuscule chance, man. Everybody can't do this. Everybody can't do this. On the next level, you got some dogs. I mean, people, I talk to you about my little attributes, whatever, pushing weight, whatever. I'm talking about real men that will put you on your ass and make you think about playing football. Y'all ever heard of Mario win? First down and 10, backside pressure, and Hollenbach got rocked by Mario Williams. Ball back to throw, tries to get out of the pocket and is wrestled down by Mario Williams. Mario Williams punished me. I, it was a business decision. Well, you know what I mean? I'm dead serious. And Mario Williams, number one draft pick. I was on the punt team. I was playing left, right guard. Kick slide, kick slide. My man hit me in my chest so hard, bro. Lifted me off my feet and carried me back like another 10 yards. I had to think about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like is this really what I want to do? But <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, is this really what I want to do? Because on the next level, it's not no games, man. This is a business. You think they're paying $8 million to a, 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 a university coach for nothing for, for somebody to come out there and be losing? Typical day for me at the University of Richmond. Wake up at 4 a.m., you're going to go lift. Um, after you lift from 4 to 6, 
probably catch breakfast 6 37. The first class, 8 15. So be in class about 1 1 30. You're going to have uh, practice, I say about 2. You back to your early. I ain't trying to hear that. I, oh, I had this happen. No, 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 that's not going to cut it, bro. The, 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 the discipline is on a whole other level. I might holler at y'all, right? Y'all have a Ran a mile with a chair over your head? That's the type of stuff they're doing in the next level, man. This is a serious game on the next level, man. If y'all want to get there, you got to be focused now. Right now. Tomorrow, y'all need to go out there and handle y'all business. Everybody loves a weather. But when you lose, you lose alone. When we were losing, uh, man, my first three years at Hermitage, we won six games. I'm out there playing my heart out. Get blasted. My first year as a freshman, I mean, my sophomore year, I played varsity. Broke my ankle. Play, uh, I think I stayed out like another four or five games. Came back. I did okay, you know what I'm saying? Junior year come in, just started to get acclimated. I had never played quarterback before. Um, my junior year, I come in, had some good results. I started seeing my name showing up. I started getting letters. That's another thing, man. Don't let these letters hype you up. You get letters at school, recognition and notoriety is awesome. If you want a scholarship, you don't want letters. People used to talk about, oh, man, you got a ball to your letters today. Five letters today, you know what I'm saying? Syracuse, Northwestern, Michigan State, Michigan. Um, I can go down the line. I mean, I had boxes of letters. I thought, you know, life is good, like, you know, whatever. But you guys don't understand, in recruiting, they have like a death chart too, just like you a death chart on your team. They get that number one guy that's on their death chart, get your scholarship to buy. If he commit, we on to the next, next position. We got our guy. That's why it's important, man, for y'all to take this time seriously and take what this man is teaching y'all seriously. It's not a game. I mean, if you want to go to that next level, you know what I mean? Um, take the things that I learned here at Hermitage and it helped me to complete the task that I wanted to there, which was to get my degree also. Um, that's what you guys should be shooting for too, because you know, getting to college, chances like this, NFLs like this. I mean, I know guys that are in the Hall of Fame at the collegiate level that didn't even get a tryout on the NFL level. Chances are, are, are my due, man. I mean, so you want to have something to fall back on. Um, once I got my degree, got out of school. I mean, I didn't have the greatest college career. I had a couple of highlights, you know what I'm saying? I made mean, later in a week, a couple of weeks. Um, ended up getting a championship uh, for the CAA uh, the conference championship that year. We almost won the uh, national championship. Made it to the semifinals, I believe it was, in 2005. Um, there, that taught me, you know, what it was like to be a championship team. You want to be uncommon, fellas. You can't just be like the common dude that, that just do things and just do it. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be out here doing what you want to do. You got to be uncommon, man. You got to be different. You know, you ever heard the phrase, oh, my man, you different. He don't smoke, he don't, you know, he don't drink, he don't do none of that. He different. Those are the guys that make it and, and, and have it mentally on the next level. Out here, y'all can have fun, you know what I'm saying? Most of the time, if you're bigger than the other cats on this level, you're going to win. I mean, you're going to have your opportunities. But on that next level, if you want if your goals and your aspirations to get to that next level, the thing that, that, that really like puts other people out of competition on the next level is the mental. 
understanding, understanding the schemes, the, the, the fronts, the, the, the defenses, the, I mean, all of that. Those guys that commit themselves to watching film, you need to be focused, just as focused as you are out there in the middle of the game. Because that applies, that applies different knowledge that you can use in the game to your advantage. So, I mean, sometimes, I, I mean, I knew the play was coming just because I knew the, the, the way that the, the knuckles looked on a man across from me. Like, if the lineman come down, them knuckles are white, he coming hard. So, right, football is simple. The man who works harder than the next man, he gonna win. I promise you, every time. Those are the dudes that win on the next level. The ones who don't party, the ones who don't get involved with females, the ones who don't get involved with drugs, the, the guys who, you know, you, you sit around, you look, oh man, he's lame, you know what I'm saying, whatever. Those would be the same cats that would be making millions of dollars while you looking back wishing that you had been something different. All I'm saying is don't waste your time, brother. Don't waste your time. And for me, up until now, like I, I still, I still use stuff that I gained from Hermitage. Coach Rollison, uh, Chris Rollison, used to tell me, "Yes, man, no, man. Yes, sir, no, sir. Will take you far in life, fellas." Sound corny, right? Yes, man. So, tell you, I still, to this day. I'm still saying yes, sir, no, sir, to my boss. But you know what that game is? Game of respect. That's something that you want. You gotta earn your respect. You give people respect, you get respect. These men out here, they come to teach y'all, respect them. They don't have to do this. I don't know, you getting rich doing this? Shit. Respect this man. Respect your teammates. Respect individuals out here in the public. They're always looking at y'all, man. Especially y'all wearing these jerseys tomorrow. Everybody knows who y'all are. Probably bigger than half the population inside the school. It's just hard for me to conceptualize it and put it into words like how serious I am about this stuff, man, because I know so many guys, man, that just wasted their opportunity. That's something you don't want to do. If this isn't ultimately what you get out of life, whether it be professional sports, whatever, I mean, there's still things that I know he's probably teaching y'all that y'all talk about with legacy and everything like that. Everybody has a legacy. You got a last name, you got a legacy. Right? Y'all yeah. want y'all kids to be able to come up here when you my age, his age, to be able to say, my dad was a ball. Right? Hey, don't be no late. <laughs> this stuff is important, man. It's, it, it's, and it's not, it's not always going to be available to you guys. It goes like that. Yeah, I've been out of school 20 years now. I'm just thinking.
Everybody loves a winner. When you win, they'll show up. We have coaches coming in from everywhere. Before we started winning, no coaches. I mean, there no scouts in the stands. First game that year, scored three touchdowns, knock off the number what, five team in the region, Lee Davis. Monday morning, Navy at the door. Tuesday, Syracuse stopping by. That's how it works. You gotta win games, bro. If you want this, you gotta win games. And be focused. That's only a, a small amount of time. I mean, if this really what you want to do after, after the season, you can do whatever you want. But I know what I was doing. I was grinding. I was making him grind. I was making him grind. And everybody else who came. That's how you change programs. You lead by example. You let people see you sweating inside that gym over here. You let people see you running those stairs. You let people see you doing your classwork, man. I mean, you ain't got to be a fool up there. No, you, especially, hold on. You definitely not going to get it done if you're a fool up here. It's not going to happen for you. I promise you. Not going to happen for you. You know how many cats are out here right now that are probably, I mean, I mean, could go to the NFL right now and play tomorrow. But they had no grades. And I mean, really on this level, what is it? Homework? Am I right or wrong, right? right, right. Homework. All you got to do is do your homework. Take your test. Well, get at least a C after. That's what they're looking for. And they want to see the attitude. They're going to ask him, like, how is he off the field? Hanging with the wrong guys. Schemer, is he a scammer? Those type of questions they know ask, am I right? Why would, if, if I had the opportunity to come out here and give somebody a scholarship, I'm paying for your room and board, I'm paying for your, your athletic gear, your cleats, Helmet, you don't, you don't have to pay for nothing, bro. We're taking, uh, especially on the Division One level, you take taking charter flights. I mean, you're walking out on the, on the runway. You ain't going through security. Why would they risk that type of money on somebody that they can't count on or that they, that they feel like they can't trust? It's not going to happen for you, man. The things that they are teaching you now, you can take forward and move forward and apply them to whatever you want to do, whether it be football, whether it be life, uh, your job, or whatever else that you want to do. When I got out of college, I bounced around. One job to the next. I had a career, uh, I mean, I, I graduated with a criminal justice degree. So I took the ride along, I was like, man, this is me. You know what I'm saying? Moved around. I started working over at this factory, walking on, working over this factory. I, I did office jobs, I was a recruiter. And ultimately, man, I ended up going back to trade school. But it's the same type of effort that took me to get a scholarship. It's the same effort that it took to get my HVAC license and my audio refrigeration license. Now I'm a stationary engineer. Um, but it, it, it takes the same effort and determination because I knew that's what I wanted to do. When I was here, I knew I wanted to be a football player. I just wanted to play on the collegiate level, for real. My idols were like guys like Steve McNair. You know, I wanted to go to Alcorn State. I wanted to be Steve McNair. And every day I used to try to emulate that. Like, you know, I was, I, y'all got an advantage, man. You got YouTube. Everything that you can look on around to try and motivate you, tap into some of that stuff. If you don't want nobody to know, do it at home, on your own, in your room. Motivate yourself. Ain't nobody else out here gonna do it for you. I promise you. If you get out here in these streets, they just gonna be looking at you. Who's this guy? You gotta put yourself first in every situation that you 
want to move forward in. Nothing in life that's, that is worth having, you will have to work for it. Everything in life that, that you want out of it, that, that's worth having, you will have to work for it. And hard work ain't never hurt nobody. That's what Coach had, y'all, y'all run sprints. Uh, uh, what, two, y'all have two days? I don't do that no more, right? Right. We used to do two a day. I mean, but when you're out there, and, and I mean, you're running with that same type of, you want to be out here running with the same type of effort that you had out there, you want to, you want to still be able to do that now. And even better, now. At this point in the season, man, One of two things. You either going home, or you gonna ball out. You gonna show them what time it is. Like I said, everybody loves the winner, bro. The more y'all win, the better y'all opportunities gonna be. And just win, baby. That's it. That's all I got. Um, like I 
said winning two games a year. I mean, y'all, y'all had that. Y'all seen y'all had that experience, right? That ain't fun, right? Yeah. By the time when you came in, I mean, we had already had in our own mindset. I think that we weren't going out like that. Not our senior year. So when you came in and implemented this stuff. Um, Mindset of play to play. To play. That, that was key. Key to our mindset. You know, uh, uh, before we got here, man, I mean, we go down by a score or two. Game was tight. Done. People were talking about, man, where you going tonight? Oh, but you know, when he came in, it, it, it instilled a mindset in us to where. So no matter what, what happened, we're gonna win it, you know? Sometimes it came up short, but most of the time it worked. No matter what happens to y'all out there, you might fall, you might, you might get scored on early, you might get down early. But how do you finish the fight? That's what it's all about. Like I said, when you get knocked down, how do you, how do you respond? What do you do? You cry? I know some guys just cry, he's a cop. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all ain't babies. Be a man. How do you respond? It's the same thing in the streets. You get locked up. How do you respond? What you gonna do with your life now? You wanna be known as the dude who quit in the third quarter? Had me low again? On, uh, on Friday night in, in, in 2021, you gonna be that guy? I hope not. Right, uh, oh all right, man, so y'all know I got my little comments. So first and foremost, this is a confession, all right? When AD got the scholarship offer, I didn't know he had, I knew he had offers, but when they when you committed, and they made the announcement over the um, intercom, I, 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 was, I don't want to say jealous of the word, but I was just like, man, I'm in my mind, I'm like, thinking this college could be offered, could be committed. That's just how oblivious I was in the process. That's why I have the conversation that I have with a lot of y'all guys. All right? That's just a confession. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, a lot of stuff he talking about. From the game, don't let the game use you, man. These just some key points, something he's already talking about. Use the game. Don't let the game use you. A lot of y'all used to having these rec league coaches that hyped you up because you already had talent and they used you to make money and concessions for their game, for their team, and then they ain't give you nothing, all right? The question is what you gonna get out of it for yourself? He already gave you a million, a million examples, all right? Because it changed my life too. Literally changed my life. I don't know what I would do without the game of football, honestly. He gave me time to mature. The times I was in college, the five years, there were dudes that I used to hang with they were doing their time in jail. Real shit. Literally in jail. Just to touch on that, so I'm gonna cut you off, but like, talking about my scholarship. Man, I, I, I got that scholarship the night before the signing day. I thought that was great, but I, I was getting scholarship offers from everywhere. Letters, you know what I'm saying? Thought I was good. Nobody offered. You know what I'm saying? They, they never, they offered me, but they gave me the verbal offer. That's that's the difference. They gave me the verbal offer. Yeah, we want you to come. It was the night before the signing day. Nobody hit me up. Oh, we took somebody else on the chart. But man, I went home that night. I told my mom, I was like, honest God, true. I cried. I cried my eyes out. I knew that I had put forth all this effort. I knew that I wanted, I wanted this. You know what I'm saying? So I went home and I prayed about it. Next morning I got a scholarship uh, off full ride. That's how I went through this Don't be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. All right, so um, and this thing about your generation, y'all got a lot of advantages to the technology of your generation. But the trick is this, all right? Don't, the bad, this is the battle for y'all. Y'all got the advantages, right? It's a gift in the technology, but the curse is this, 
uh, it allows y'all to feel good without accomplishing the goal. <coughs> right? You get a poem, you post something, you see yourself, you show yourself working out, people liking it, and you start feeling good about yourself without accomplishing anything. We didn't have that. We didn't record ourselves working out. We, we really, we worked out because we knew we needed to get better on the field, all right? And there's some guys, and y'all know some of the guys, they do a quick snap film, throw some water in their face, hard working, and they leave and go home. Because they want to look like they work hard, all right? The results don't come from looking like you work hard. The results go in the body, the muscle memory, from the work that you do, all right? So that's y'all generational um, 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 battle, all right? Y'all got an advantage with the technology, but it's a disadvantage because now you get instant gratification without actually receiving or accomplishing anything. Because right? there's so much more levels to go. Even for us, we still climbing. All right? um, and the last thing, man, don't take for granted these moments we have, man. All right? I'm grateful for this moment. I couldn't imagine, uh, imagine in a million years that we would be doing this right now. And me and you, and me and you were talking back in the day. We would have thought this shit was like, it's just, it's just the way life happens, all right? And I'm grateful. I'm grateful for him. Like, we got a whole lot of experience. I used to go to the University of Richmond and party all the time, you know what I mean? I used to get the mixed culture experience, you know what I mean? Because I, I went to HBCU, so I ain't never really get a chance to go with that. A lot of stories. Yeah, I know. Hey, man. <laughs> Rough. Yeah, man. For real. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm, and I'm grateful, too. We're grateful to be here, grateful to be alive. Because it's life, man. A lot of stuff happens, man. People pass away, stuff changes, people transition, people change. And like he said, how you respond? How you respond, man? That's what being a man is about. That's what we're trying to show y'all. That's what this series is about. At the end of the day, we're trying to bridge the gaps. All right? And y'all are expected to go further than we went. All right? This is an important group, man. Y'all gonna remember each other for life. This man called me up right away. Got you. It's nice to have friends like that. Thanks. This group is gonna be, y'all gonna be, y'all bonded already. Cause y'all, y'all have put the, the, everything together to get to this point. What you gonna do with it? Great day to be a parent! Watch your film, man. It's going to be cold game tomorrow, all right? So be prepared for that, all right? Other than that, I'll be sending y'all guys messages, man. Get a break! Oh, yeah, Uriah. Kill on me! Kill on three! One, two, three! Yeah!